do like one. You know, get the time for the head and the bad energy. Got my mind on my mind. Make you dance like boom, boom, boom. Let me play like rock one. Then you make my own, yeah. What they want, tell me, could you not my fantasy? But it ain't all, it ain't all, but I'm be more. I'm gonna make my hobby, it ain't all. If I'm more, you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna be doing a product review on the Texture ID coils. Okay, now your girl want to try this product out. I seen it. I was like, this looks interesting. So I was like, you know what? Let me buy it. So I got these from Sally's. I got one, two, three, four, five, five products. Well, six products. Well, five products and a tool. So let me go over the products real quick for you guys. So I got the Text ID coils. I got the shamp detangling shampoo. The detangling conditioner. I got the daily moisturizing cream i got a mask and then a custard and then the tool that i got was this three comb that i've been seeing supposed to make your curls pop so we gonna see i guess all right so now a couple things that i found cool about this brand is they do have three like they have different colors um bottles for different textures so i was like okay miss so in the bottom of each bottle which looks like this so the one that's highlighted is the one that i'm using right now which is i'm guessing type 4 here which is coils and then you have three type hair type 2 here and type 1 here which is pretty cool so the shampoo moisturizing conditioner and the mask is type 4 here and the custard is type 3 here as you can see right here so we're gonna see hopefully the custard i feel like the custard is gonna work even though it's for type 3 here it's all good okay the ingredients for these products they're all sweet almond oil honey yogurt extract sounds good these products i got my receipt here this is how much everything was the total and then I'll probably put the numbers down also, guys. Like, trust me. I'll put it in the description. You guys know I got y'all with the stuff. I want y'all searching. So, y'all can just go in the description. All the parts will be there. I got them from Sally's. You can probably get them from your local beauty supply store. Wherever you're located. I don't know. But, yeah. So, this is... I'm actually excited. Because for a 12-ounce bottle, this was 1038. So, it's not bad. Um... Hopefully this really works because the, it's just like, it's so tall and it's like the design. It's just like, yes. So, today I'm going to be doing a full wash day, guys, now. So, bear with me because full wash days takes me oh, forever. Just the filming part because I have to set up the camera, face it to my shower, and then my camera battery dies every so often so it's just like it's gonna be a lot and i don't really like doing full full product reviews when i have to do it like with the shampoo and conditioner because i have to be in the shower and it's just like a whole lot of waters everywhere and it's a lot okay so we're gonna try it out and see what happens okay um but yeah guys so that it is that is it for the products okay and now we're gonna go review the products and then we're gonna do go we're gonna go do a wash and go you know you thought i was gonna do something else you thought i wasn't gonna do a wash and go come on guys y'all should know right now wash and goes all day okay unless y'all recommend something else a wash and go okay so this right here was from my last video if you haven't gone to watch it hold up wait a minute i'm gonna put it somewhere up here and then I'm going to put the video somewhere down here. Maybe, maybe. If I get a little fancy, okay? Maybe. It might be somewhere down here, okay? But this was Taraj Wally, something like that. Wally Taraj, something like that, right? The one product, yes, this is from it, okay? And let me tell you something. It's been, I think, a week or two, and my hair, it's still soft, like... It, it's soft like stiff wear nowhere okay like my hair 
it moves and it's been two weeks guys and it's so soft no flakes i suggest after watching this video you go watch that video because wait what it was a flat twist out too it wasn't a wash it was a flat twist out but girl the way that my hair is soft Just go watch it. Go watch it, go watch it, go watch it. And go try the product out. And comment in that video how you guys like the product. If it left your hair feeling soft or whatever. Okay? So, we're going to get into the video So, now. here guys, I'm just rinsing my hair. Trying to get my hair saturated with the water. So, I like to soak my hair for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Just so the water can really penetrate my hair. So once my hair is soaked, next I'm going to condition my hair just to detangle it before shampoo. And I play the detangler adds a little moisture and a little barrier before you put the shampoo in. I don't know guys, let me know in the comments, but that's what I think. In my opinion, the conditioner had a lot of slip. It's really a good detangler, um, in my opinion. I would rate it like, like an 8 out of 10, to be honest. I think you guys should give it a try. It really melted my curls, it smells good, and it made my hair super soft. Like, yes. So with detangling, guys, I do recommend to work in small sections. Of course, you guys know your own hair, but it's always good to work in small sections just so you guys don't break off any healthy hair. And recently, I'm trying to finger detangle before I put any, like, brushes or comb so that's what you're gonna see me do here i'm just finger detangling just so when i do bring the comb and or brush whatever you guys may use it's easier you're not breaking off the unhealthy hair like some of the knots that you guys have in your hair you can really take care of it when you finger detangle without breakage like do you see how this brush is gliding on my hair because of this conditioner and finger detangling like come on guys <laughs> So once you finish detangling your hair, you're going to want to rinse the conditioner out. Don't rinse it out fully. Leave a little bit just so there can be a barrier between your hair and the shampoo. Next, I will be applying the shampoo. Now the shampoo was really runny and watery, but it felt amazing on my hair. Like when I tell you guys, this cleansed my hair, but did not strip the moisture. If anything, it added moisture to my hair. So I finished washing my hair off camera. So next you just see me put the conditioner. So I put the conditioner all throughout my hair and then I leave it for five minutes because that's what the bottle said. I did put a shower cap on just to lock in the heat and to make sure that it's really penetrating my strands. If everything is five minutes later. So after five minutes, I'm back guys. And let me tell you, this left my hair so soft. Like, my hair felt extremely soft, guys. Ridiculous. So after I shampoo, when I detangle my hair, I do it in smaller sections just because I feel like whatever shampoo I use, my hair always is more detangled afterwards. But this condition, let me show you guys. Look how easy my fingers glide through my hair. Like... This is my fingers, and look how easy the brush does it next. Look at that. No, I lost no hair, guys. No hair. And when you guys are finger detangling, please take your time, guys. I know it looks like I'm ripping through my hair, but I'm really not. It's just sped up. Take your time. Run your fingers through your hair. Detangle. Don't rush it, okay? Run your fingers as much time as you need before you put that brush or that comb. Trust me. For this wash day, my breakage was minimum. Minimum breakage, okay? Once that section is detangled, just twist it up so it doesn't get tangled again, guys. Once you're 
you're done detangling your hair, you're going to want to rinse it out. Next, I'm going to apply the hair mask. So the hair mask was really thick, as you guys can see. Look how thick it is. But it really does absorb in your hair once you put it on. It's like butter. Like literally, it just melts. The thickness melts. As soon as it even touches your hands, look at it, it's gone. A few moments later. So I got this product from Target. I went to Target to get some shower caps and came back with this. So I already did my deep conditioning. This is a deep conditioning in here. I'm gonna leave for about like 30, 40 minutes. I have stuff that I'm gonna do around the house, so you know. So I went to the store to get some shower caps. Okay guys, and I seen this and I was like I have to get it. It's a deep conditioner reusable thermal cap. Come on. Can y'all blame me though? So, we're gonna open this up. This is what it looks like. Comes with two little shower caps. Look at this. Oh, got a little weight to it. So with this, you microwave it. Let me see. You microwave it for 30 second intervals. No long, no more than 90 seconds though. And then it says to leave the cap no more than 15 minutes. So that's what we gonna do. Okay, so my hair, I rinsed out the um, deep conditioner. My hair feels extremely soft, guys. Extremely soft, okay? So this is what it looks like. Real soft, real nice. So now we're going to be using the Daily Moisturizing Cream and then the Curling Custard for the styling products and then for my tools I have, to have my Tangle Teaser brush and then the 3 comb brush I guess I mean comb is called. I have, I'm just going to use to see if it actually curls my hair. We'll see. So what I'm going to do first I'm just going to go and put the Daily Moisturizing Cream all throughout my hair and then I'm gonna put the custard just to give the cream some time to you know seep into the hair so that's what I'm gonna do and I have a, a new spray bottle because my missed one broke I did buy new one for Amazon I'm just waiting for, it, waiting for it to come but this one since I want my hair drenched this I feel like this wets my hair faster than the mist would you feel me like I want my hair drenched like I, if I was in the shower this would give me that so Let's get to the styling. But she don't love me, she too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. <laughs> oh yes. When it came to this moisturizing daily cream, first, it was hard to get the product out the damn bottle. Second, when I applied it to my hair, it felt like nothingness. It didn't leave my hair moisturized, nothing. It just felt like I put nothing in my hair, and I did not like that. Like, my hair felt so dry after applying this product. Well, not so dry, but it felt dry, guys. Like, it wasn't moisturized like my, um, not today, curly me kinky or whatever it is. That one leaves my hair moisturized. This one did not. <laughs> After I applied the daily moisturizing cream throughout my hair, now I'm going to take the back section to add the custard. And the custard was like um, a flaxseed gel, like if you guys ever used it, like that's what it felt like. It was thick, but it was just like, like I don't know, like jelly-like. There you go. Um, When I applied it to my hair, it felt nice. It felt like the curls were going to last. But let me tell you. This style is just, it took me for a whirlwind because it looks so beautiful when dry. Like, you can see, like, the curls on my head, like, they're popping. They're there. They're nice. Nice and juicy, you feel me? But, I don't know, that custard, 
later on in the week gave me problem guys when i tell you my hair was flaking like it looked like the custard dried in clumps in my hair i was just like what in the world like i never had that happen to me even with a gel i never had that happen to me so this style really lasts like about like not even a full week guys because I sprayed my hair and I put it in a low puff because I was just tired. My hair was flaky. It was dry. No moisture. Like, this brand had me until the daily moisturizing cream. It just went downhill after that. And I was just like, no. Like, my hair, I felt like did not look good. It didn't feel good. I feel like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't like it. I was so upset. Because I'm like, my hair is flaking. But then it looks so nice when it was wet. Like, the curl definition was there. It was giving what it needed to give. But at the end, it didn't give at all. Catfish at its finest. Okay? And another thing. This custard, I feel like, gives you more definition than volume. And it weighs your hair down. Like my hair, there was no volume to it. Not really. I think you guys should try this product because everybody's hair is different and everybody's hair will react differently. But I don't know. If you have if your hair is just like mine, same porosity and everything, um, I would say don't waste your money. Maybe I just paired it with the wrong product, even though I paired it with its own brand. We know sometimes that don't mean nothing, like even if it comes from the same brand don't mean to go together and plus in my opinion i think because the daily moisturizer was the yellow bottle and the custard is the purple maybe that's what made it flake too like maybe if the cream i was using was from the purple brand it would have made a difference i don't know guys but i was so happy when my hair was wet i was like "Ooh, this is gonna be a bomb wash and go i can use these products but no i can't Probably the only products from this brand I'll be using, most likely, is just the shampoo and the conditioner. That's it. so this is what my hair looks like after i applied the custard it's really defined like look it looks so nice and so pretty guys and this is later in that day i let it dry up a little bit my ends are dry but of course my roots are not so i was about to go to sleep so now i'm just gonna do the bending method um i believe i broke it up into like five sections my bang was one two on each side tell me what you say now tell me what you say you said that you would come again you said that we would remain friends but you know that i do not depend on nothing or no one so why would you show up so uninvited just change my mind like that please don't take this personal
next morning, my hair is all dried up. So now I'm just going to be taking out the satin scrunchies. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Everybody's like, he's no item. Please don't like him. He don't wife him. He one night him. I never listen, no. I should have figured though. All the shit you was spitting so unoriginal. But it was you, so I was with it. Then I tell you the truth, which we never did it. taking out the satin scrunchies when i tell you i shook my head to see if it would be loose a little bit and no my hair was hard like do you see that like i don't know if you guys can tell but i don't know i don't know if i just stretched my hair too much and that's why it looks like that i had to add some oil to take away some of that cast that it had it didn't really help um and then i tried to grab a a pick and i tried to fluff out my roots couldn't even do that like it Rock hard, guys. Like, it's... Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I looked a hot fucking mess guys but the curls though look so freaking nice like it's just crazy to me how the curls can look so nice but my hair feels so trash so day three i did do the banding method i sectioned my hair into three um pieces or three sections and then i just put one satin scrunchie on each let me tell you my hair still felt like shit and no moisture um the cast did loosen up a little bit, but it was still hard. Like, I couldn't get a pick, a comb, nothing through those roots, okay? I mean, nothing. I was trying so hard to like this style, guys. Like, I was trying to convince myself that I like this. But it's a no for me. Like, my hair does not look like how it usually looks. And I don't like that. And I don't feel how it usually feels either. Okay? <laughs> 